Well, hello, everybody. My name is Kristen Panella, CSP. Uh, today's topic is going to be accident investigation, and this will be a simple introduction to a training topic that will have four modules. Uh, each one will go over different sections of how to complete an accident investigation, starting with who is the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. They are a federal government agency that cares about employee safety. We saw this in our first module, and we are going to go in depth with each one of these processes, uh, starting with notification, right? So an accident happens, who gets notified when an accident happens? Then there's a response to that accident, maybe cleaning up the site, making sure it's safe. Then we're gonna jump into fact finding, and this is where our investigation starts. Once we get all of our facts, we're gonna have an analysis of those facts. And that's where we're gonna come up with our root cause of what was the actual cause of that accident. From there, we're gonna come up with corrective actions. And once we have implemented those corrective actions, there is a follow-up process as well. Here we are, we're in the fact finding section of our accident investigation. So the incident information is collected through interviews, document reviews, which we'll touch on that, and other means. In addition to interviews, investigators may find other sources of useful information. These include equipment manuals, industrial guidance documents, company policies and records, maintenance schedules, records and logs, training records, audit and follow-up reports, enforcement policies and records, previous corrective action recommendations. So we start our investigation. We're gonna use the same method that we learned in grammar school, right? We're gonna use the who, what, where, when, why, and how method. So we start with our who's. So who was injured? Who saw the incident? Who was working with the employee? Who had instructed or assigned the employee? Who else was involved? and who else can help prevent the reoccurrence? Okay, so these are just sample questions. Again, you don't have to use all of them. Uh, we wanna make sure that we use some of them and kind of, it's kind of a guidance. It really depends on your accident or your incident of the questions that you're gonna ask the uh, interviewee. And then our corrective action, developing corrective or preventive actions is the most important step in the incident uh, investigation process. For this slide, I love the picture on the right side. This picture is fantastic. Each puzzle piece is all your fact finding, right? So every interview you do, every form you fill out, every picture you took, every um, witness, every um, piece of equipment that you collected as evidence is all part of this big puzzle. And the last part of that puzzle is the corrective action. So to summarize, uh, not only the two accidents that we just went over, but all of our training for accident investigation, every accident is different and may require a unique approach. Don't hesitate to be creative and consistently ask the very important question, why? Thank you. Again, my name is Kristen Pinella, CSP, and I hope you learned something during this accident investigation training.